Hello, and welcome to My Little Country Living. I'm Tommy Ray. You know, one of my favorite cookies ever is the Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookie. That's right, this one right here. But one problem is, that cookie is only sold once a year. And once the Girl Scout stops selling these, you can't get them for another year. So my solution is I usually buy about 10 of these boxes and throw several in the freezer so that I can bring them out later on in the year and have some Thin Mints. But now, I actually have a recipe for Thin Mint Cookies. So I can make these anytime I want. And now, you can too. So, let's go ahead and learn how to make some Thin Mint Cookies. We're going to go over two sets of ingredients. The first set is the dough, and the second set of ingredients is for your chocolate coating. For your dough, you'll need one cup of butter that is softened, two-thirds cup of granulated sugar, one large egg at room temperature, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, a half cup of cocoa powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. The ingredients we need for our chocolate coating include 16 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. That's equivalent to about one and one-thirds bag of chocolate chips. Next, we'll need a half teaspoon of peppermint oil. Now, it's very important to use peppermint oil and not peppermint extract because peppermint extract is usually made with an alcohol base. And if you put an alcohol base extract into your melted chocolate, it'll seize up and you'll have a thick, clumpy mess. And finally, we'll need a quarter teaspoon of coconut oil. Okay, we're going to start out by taking our softened butter, and we're going to add that to a mixer. Now, one cup of butter is the equivalent to two sticks of butter. So we'll go ahead and put in our two sticks of butter. Now we're going to add our two-thirds cup of granulated sugar. There's one-third there. And here's our second one-third, two-thirds. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and beat that butter and sugar together um, in, our mixing, in our mixer for about three minutes. Okay, that was three minutes, and we have a nice, fluffy bit of mixture there of sugar and butter. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just scrape the sides here so that we can make sure everything's back in the bottom of the bowl before we add any more of the ingredients here, just to make sure it all gets mixed up because we don't want to have a bunch of this just stuck to the side of the bowl. Now we add our egg. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I actually use homemade vanilla extract and I'll go ahead and put a link to that if you want to learn how to make that as well. Next, we're going to put in our half teaspoon of peppermint extract. I think just a little bit more than half there. That's okay. And we'll continue mixing that up. Next, we're going to add our two cups of flour to a separate bowl. Add your half cup of cocoa powder, your half teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to whisk that all together. Okay, the next step is to go ahead and mix all your flour in with your butter mixture. And we're going to go ahead and mix that on a medium low until everything gets mixed all together. Okay, next we're going to take some plastic wrap and we're going to go ahead and put that on our countertop. And now we have our mixture and we're going to go ahead and just scoop that onto the plastic wrap. Now that we have that all scooped there, we're going to go ahead and just seal this up. And we're going to refrigerate this for about one to two hours until it's nice and chilled. Okay, we have our dough here that has been in the refrigerator for about an hour. We're going to go ahead and just flour our work surface here a little bit. And then we're going to roll this out to one eighth of an inch thickness.
Now that we have our dough to one eighth inch thickness, we're going to use a two inch cookie cutter and start cutting out our little cookies and place them on a parchment lined uh, baking pan. While you're doing this, you want your oven to be preheating to 350 degrees. Now that we've cut out our cookies, we're going to go ahead and place these in our preheated oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes until the cookies look dry and are baked. Our cookies are now done baking, so we're going to go ahead and let them cool. While they cool, we'll go ahead and start making the chocolate coating. Now it's time to melt our chocolate. You can melt your chocolate in the microwave if you want, in a microwave safe bowl. Or you can use the double boiler method, which is what we're going to do right here. For the double boiler method, we're going to empty our two bags of chocolate into a metal bowl that we're going to set on top of a pot with boiling water in it. Next, we'll go ahead and add our coconut oil. And then we'll go ahead and add our peppermint oil. Now we'll go ahead and just slowly stir our chocolate, mixing in together our coconut oil and our peppermint oil. And the chocolate will melt slowly. So this process is going to take about uh, five minutes or so. Just continue to stir this so the chocolate melts slowly and evenly. Once your chocolate coating is fully melted, we're going to go ahead and immerse our cookies into the chocolate. To do this, we're going to go ahead and use a fork. We'll go ahead and take the fork and drop the cookie into the chocolate, flip it over, and then lift the cookie out with the fork underneath the cookie. Then we're going to go ahead and tap all the excess chocolate off by tapping the fork against the side of the bowl until all the excess chocolate falls off. Once the excess chocolate is off the cookie, we'll go ahead and return the cookie to our baking sheet, and then we'll go ahead and repeat this process until all the cookies are dipped into the chocolate. Once all your cookies have been dipped into the chocolate, go ahead and let the chocolate cool for one to two hours so that it hardens up and then you can get your cookies. If you wanna speed up the process, you can do so by putting the cookies into the refrigerator. All right, here is our thin mint cookie. Let's give it a try. Mm, delicious. This might be the best thin mint cookie you'll ever have. Well, thanks for joining me today in my little country living as we made Thin Mint Cookies. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And also, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. If you do make the cookie, please drop us a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks.